Do you want early access? Do you want uncut reactions? If so, then check out our Patreon. Link in the description down below. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this show, this amazingly detailed, amazingly like well, like well told story, is continuing, and we're going to be watching episode three of it. This is Freyrin, Beyond Journey's End, episode three, Killing Magic, and I gotta be honest, what a start to this show, man! What a crazy good start. I mean. First off, we had like an emotional, we had an emotional roller coaster in the first episode with, you know, Freeran realizing that Himmel mattered more to her than I think even she knew. And then, of course, you know, later on, the discovery of uh, the, you know, the priest taking in an orphan who is very talented with magic. Freeran is basically teaching her how to, how to do things, and it's just... Uh, the priest passes away, which, you know, as expected, you know, he was getting up there in age. And then, of course, they come, they come across a tributed statue to Himmel, and they basically find what thought to be an extinct blue flower that he told her about, and she sort of fulfilled one of her little bucket list checklist things. We have the third episode queued up here, and uh, I really want to see what happens next, so... We're just going to jump on in, and uh, apparently uh, we're in the trade city of Warm. So let's uh, take a look and see. Kitty. <laughs> Holy crap. Fern's taller than Freyrand. Of course. <笑>私に何か隠しているときの顔だ。余計なものを買ってくるんだ。買っちゃった。何に使うのこれ。この薬は服だけ溶かすんだよ。返品してきなさい。魔法師の本座学も大事だからね。系のものというわけではないけど。
今日は私の誕生日でしたね。There you go. I had a feeling it was gonna be something like that. Hey, that's nice. Kirena, k a m i k a s a r i Totemo r e s i n a d e s Shiro to Shita d o k e n o m o n i Freeden Samawa, Hontoni Hitono Kanjoga w a k a t i m a s e n e Not really. It's kind of the one big thing she's shitty at. Yep. Okay, that's nice. She's wondering why her breasts haven't grown. Grove Forest. Gross. Gross? Oh. It's an S set from German. Oh, okay. Hey. Damn, she weaved it around it. Well, purely defensive is not the way to go. 数十秒で魔力切れになるよ。爆弾の瞬間に部分的に展開させるのが正解というわけですね。ほとんどの攻撃魔法が防げますからね。強力すぎて不思議です。フェルン、渡した魔法師の本読んでないでしょう。もしやフリーレン様ですかな。なんで知ってるの？案内します。うん？クバール。腐敗の剣狼クバールその限りを尽くした魔族ですそれを勇者ヒンメル様ご一行が封印してくださったのですあああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああのあああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああ装備の魔法耐性さえも貫通し破壊する魔法だ。Damn. And here we go. 封印を解くよ。<笑>油断しないようにね。久しいよ、フリーレン。魔王様は。殺した。そうか。敵討ちと行こうかの。フェルン、前方に防御魔法。ゾルトラーク。ウルトラークを防ぐとは随分高度な防御術式じゃの今のは一般攻撃魔法ですあれがゾルトラーク封印されてから大陸中の魔法使いがゾルトラークをこぞって研究解析したわずか数年でゾルトラークは人類の魔法体系に組み込まれ魔法法が開発された so、basically the world left him behind. 一般攻撃魔法と呼ばれているよ。ふん、雑な術式じゃの魔力の消費もさぞつらかる。防御魔法の弱点に気づかれた。おお。これで私たちも平穏に暮らせます。ねえその帽子、hey. お前私のスカートめくったクソガキだな<笑> Well that instantly ruins like well not instantly ruins I mean he was a kid so he didn't know any better but yeah I, I was expecting like a straw hat joke there it's like ムギワラのルフィ
おかげでもっと長生きできそうです<笑>ヒンメル様の言葉を信じて待った甲斐がありましたプリーレン様を信じていたのだと思いますよ Maybe. どうしたのですか別に、huh. well? Fairly slow episode, but at the same time, it's just like it's once again just expanding on the world because now we know how far magic has come since they were on their adventures, and also magic like the different types of magic that have come out of it offensive type magic and defensive type magic. To be honest, it still didn't feel slow to me. No, 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 but. But, like I was saying, it's just like. It's more... like one could describe this show as like slow so far, but it doesn't feel that way because well, everything that they're doing is interesting still. Well, slow isn't. Okay, I guess it's slow like is watching not the her most... follow her around for like her birthday gift was like fun. Yeah. And then she, like, after that, they started going to, you know, practicing on defensive magic. And so we got to see a little bit of world building about some of how the magic works. Yeah. And then they went further with that by going to the village and defeating the demon because we learned how the magic worked 80 years ago. And now we learn how it works now because of that. So it was all some pretty cool little world building things. To be honest, like, I felt like it was over before <laughs> I realized it. So. Yeah, sad to say, but that's that's just how I felt, too. I feel like this show, the show, it it's really good about, I, I, slow was the wrong word I used. In, in, um, in, in terms of, like, more... It's chill, I guess. Yeah, I guess chill would be the more, the more, like, attuned, ver like, like, verb to describe it. But this, this right here would be, I, I, I loved this. I loved this episode. It, it, once again, I haven't seen a bad episode yet. I would say this episode, basically, it affirms, like, the mother, sl sister, slash, daughter relationship that her and Fern have. I mean, Fern looks up to Freeran, but Freeran, uh... The thing with her is, she's she's still, in some ways, like young at heart, even though she's like world traveled and world weary and everything. She still is very bad with money. She still is very much just, you know, very much in her own head about some things, and her way of dealing with some things is just. It's mature, but at the same time, a little there's a little childishness to it. But the, but honestly, I think that's what makes her such an interesting character is that you know because of her age and everything and how you know for her a thousand years has been nothing. A thousand years has literally been you know a blink of the eye, and then along the way she's lost everything, and I think she's coming to try and understand like what it's like to be human. I think that's her ultimate goal that she's having right now, especially with Fern, because her sticking with Fern and uh, teaching Fern and seeing how humans adapt and grow and become become the peop you know become the adults that they are eventually going to become, I think that's going to basically give Freeran a whole new perspective that she's never considered before, and I think maybe. She'll start taking things more to heart, and she's not going to be as well, not cold, but she won't be as dismissive about stuff. At least that's my hope, anyway. I don't know. I mean, she may go through a whole adventure with uh, with Fern, and then just be like, be like, all right, that was fun. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye. Which I think that would be a big detriment to the overall show. To like split them up because they work so well together too. Fern, where she's not well, she's a little more responsible than Freeran, but she's still young as well, and she's not accustomed to a lot of things that Freeran knows about. It's just once again, just seeing these two characters grow and become become like more responsible people and uh, more 
attuned people. I like that. I like I like what they're doing. What about you, Nick? Anything that you uh, uh what? Anything that you think about this episode that I really haven't talked about or mentioned or anything? Pretty much already put my thoughts into it. So. Okay. Well, either way though, that was a good episode, and uh, next episode is going to be the land where souls rest. So. Don't know what's going to happen in the next episode, but apparently some souls are going to be put to rest. So, until next time, everyone, signing off. I'm Nate. I'm Nick. Y'all be good people. Take care. Bye-bye.